Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to attempt to show you how to use the clone tool in the freeware named Photo Filter to remove unwanted items from your image. Now, uh, this is a photo which was donated to us by our friend Amin. And uh, thank you, Amin. It makes for a good demonstration because what he's got here is he's got this leaf uh, protruding up here and eclipsing the petals of the flower. So this is a perfect uh, situation for us to demonstrate the use of the clone tool. First, I come over here to the select tool. I click it and then I come down here to the polygon tool. So this is the, uh, we're going to be selecting in polygon format. Now, I can zoom in a little bit on my image. And then I'm going to pick a starting point, which is right here. Uh, we're going to wait for the camera to focus. <laughs> click. And then I drag it. And I click. And I drag it. And I'm picking up the pedal. And just a tiny bit beyond the pedal. And I go right around here. And then I come down, I gotta drag, I gotta move over here and drag. I zoom so I have to drag the frame down. And then I just go like this, all the way down to the bottom, all the way over here to the left. And then I'm gonna drag it up again. And over, and I return to my starting point. When I return to my starting point and click, I now have a scrolling marquee showing me uh, the region that's, uh, that I've selected. And uh, also, uh, this photo filter draws this thing they call a bounding box, which uh, makes a rectangle around the entire uh, maximum width and maximum, maximum height. You can leave it there, or you can get rid of it by going up here to Selection, and then to, uh, where is it, uh, Options, and then checking off the bounding box. And now, boom, bounding box is gone, and you can clearly see the area that you'll be working in. What, the, what this selection tool does is it creates this mask. Now, any effect that I apply will, will happen only in the mask. For example, if I wanted to adjust the brightness, that happens, oh, where are we here? Only in the mask area and not outside the mask area. So, that's the purpose of drawing this mask. Now, we've got our, our region that we want to work on uh, outlined by the uh, Polygon Select tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate this leaf. So the next step is to go over to the Clone tool, which is over here. We click on that, and then we've got several options. Over here is the radius we want. Right now it's set to 75, and as you can see, that's kind of large. So I might want to bring that down to 50. And then we come back over, and now that's more manageable. And also there's uh, pressure. And uh, I leave that at uh, full tilt. And then there's other things down here. Step, fixed, precise, diffuse pattern. I don't bother with any of that. Um, but anyway, we're going to go with a 50 uh, pixel radius uh, clone tool. And here's what we do. We can, uh, I believe it's hold down the control key. Let's come up here to the flower. I place the cursor there, put the control key down. Now my clone tool shows up. I left click and I've just selected that area. Now watch, I can drop it here by simply moving the cursor into that area and left click and boom, there is what I selected. I'm going to undo that because I don't want the flower in there. So that's what the clone tool does. You pick a reference area, put the control button down. Let's go here to the disk. Put the control button down, hold it down, left click. Now you've picked up that area and you can put it anywhere you'd like. See? There it is. By simply putting the cursor in the uh, new area and uh, doing a left click and uh, drawing, dragging it. Now, um, I want to show you also that we can't, I, I've selected this uh, disc. I cannot put it out here outside the mask. Watch. Nothing will happen. Everything will happen only inside this mask. And that's why I drew the mask, because when I'm cloning, I don't want to be dragging colors onto the petals. So the mask is going to help me, uh, help prevent me from doing that. Okay, let's get into the cloning. Let's take this color. 
Control, click, and drag it down. Click, click, click. Oh, come on, camera. Focus. See now around this petal, we've got the, the, the similar color from over here. Now, let's do the same thing here. Control button held down, click, and then click, 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 click. And let's get rid of that little bit of green there. There we go. That's all gone. Now, what we can do is, now that we've got a little bit of room to work with, we can go back over here and increase that uh, back up to 75. That'll help make shorter work of our work. Now, control button down, held down, left click, control button up, position it here, left click, And then what I can do is I can also drag some of this down. Sometimes the, uh, the color variations don't seem to match too well. Because usually there's uh, some kind of, oh, what happened there? Oh, I know what happened. Let's undo that. I had selected from outside and then dragged it in. And there we have it. We've got the leaf cloned out. We've got some uh, similar colors. The photo doesn't look that bad. Now, let's get rid of that mask so we can see what we're doing. And we do that, a little camera catch up, by coming up here to uh, selection, and then uh, hide selection. And now our mask is gone, and we can see the result. And let's zoom in. Oh, we have a little bit of green left down there because uh, I had zoomed and forgotten about that. I don't think we need the mask now, so let's go back and uh, uh, let's use a 100 radius. Left click, uh, uh, control, held down, left click, and now let's just bring it down. Control, left click, control up, left click, and so on and so forth. And this is how we clone. Now, I also have, I have a little bit of color uh, mismatch here going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on that area. And I'm going to go back to a smaller diameter. Let's say 50 pixels again. And I'm going to take care of that little problem. Okay. Now I'm going to go down to the 25 pixels and bring it in a little tighter. And that's it. Looks pretty good, actually. Now the last thing you'll notice is after you've done some cloning, uh, the margin where the, uh, where in this case the, uh, the mask had met the petals, might seem a little unnatural looking, like right here. If we zoom in, you can see that the uh, what they call the anti-alias is too sharp. So here's what I do to fix that. Again, using my clone tool, I, I pick a small uh, diameter, let's say 12. Let's try that. No, that's too big. Let's try 5. Okay. And then I just smooth it out by click, and then I just go bing, 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 right around that area. And now it looks more natural. Oh, come on, catch up camera. Control down, left mouse. Bring it right here in the uh, uh, in the anti-alias area and just go right down. And when you have a color change that happens, you can come back out here, pick again, and then go right around. And there you have it. That's basically that's how to clone. That's how to use the clone tool to get rid of an unwanted element. There's our finished product. Now let's uh, let's save that as a new file so that we can load it up again and compare. We'll call it Amin2. Now let's load up Amin. 
I mean one. Okay, there's the original and there's the finished version. And that is how easy it is to use the clone tool in the freeware called Photo Filter. It takes a little practice, takes a little getting used to it, it takes a little bit of uh, uh, knowledge regarding uh, how to draw a mask and then how to smooth it when you're done. But once you've got that all down pat, it should be very easy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask. If I can help you, I'll be happy to. Bye for now.